So Cabaret is on in London's West End. We have Self Esteem starring also Jake Shears from Scissor Sisters. Well, of course, now solo in his own right. Look who's been to see it. Of course he has. Sean Vickers. I nearly called you Shane. Shane Vickers then. Don't know why. Dane Ward pops up. <laughs> yeah, here I am. Slightly bedraggled. Um, it was one of those experiences, hi everyone, where our theatre gang went and there was wine and then there was some more wine and then there was some more wine <laughs> oh dear slippery slope <laughs> can you I'm remember any of the performance slow. i remember all the performance i also remember the post performance conversation in the retro bar where there were some pints and conversations oh fabulous that's the best place to go by the way for those who don't know what the retro bar is george yeah Cor- very george near Cor- charing cross station and yeah, it's fabulous it, we, we both dj there yeah iconic Kate Bush is on the wall. Susie Sue's on the wall. I mean, not Everyone's physically. On the wall. <laughs> They're pictures. actually on the wall. <laughs> Pinned up. So it was really exciting. It was next on our list on our theatre roundabouts. As you know, we did Sunset Boulevard recently, which was, well, you can see the reviews. Um, yeah. Super mega interesting. And yes, so we were ready for the Kit Kat Club. And I have to say, the space is absolutely incredible. They spent a lot of money creating the performance of the Kit Kat Club in the round which is quite fab. It's quite a great theatre because previously The Jungle was there, which is about the Kakale refugees. And that was incredible. It was directed by Stephen Doldre. So what they do with that theatre space, I think, is quite revolutionary. It's, it's the space opposite the Corinthia, the Razzy Corinthia Hotel. So fab. And we were kind of like really hyped up because you've got Jake Shears as MC. You've got, you've got um, self-esteem. So Rebecca Lucy Taylor as... Um, Sally Bowles, so really setting the scene for something quite magical. Excellent. So I saw this, I mean, many years ago, back in the late 80s, and Toya Wilcox played Sally Bowles. She was phenomenal. And actually, she really had her work cut out because the orchestra went on strike. So they all had to do it a cappella. They didn't have any orchestra to play alongside their their vocals. So they had to just do do the singing just on their own. It was, yeah. Incredible. Yeah. So what I but that was a long is, time ago. I mean, I can't remember been, much about it. There's been many. There's been many MCs and many Sally Bowles, right? And I think people compare, and that's natural. Um, obviously, it's the staging that's been set by the production that is super, super interesting. So I'll start by saying I had a really fab evening. It was really great. We were sat behind Billy Porter. Which Al was, field. Oh, amazing. After a few glasses of wine. Absolutely. What could be the better? The most <laughs> loveliest human being and was chatty. Yeah. We had a gossip to Billy. We're going to be into, uh, reviewing one of his films soon. Exactly. Well, I was going to say, hey, Billy, I'm, I'm going to review our son recently, but I thought I'd hold off. But he was absolutely the most delightful human being ever. Obviously, he's a Tony Award winner. And he would said, oh, we're here to see, we're here to see Jake, you know. And so that was really thrilling. As I say, the staging and the razzmatazz is amazing. There is kind of an immersive experience from about 6.45 to 7.30 in the lobby area. So outside of the theatre where performers are doing a whole bunch of kind of camaraderie and really setting the scene of the Kit Kat Club, which is kind of fab. I think Jason does, so Jason Jake Shears does an absolutely fab job as MC and really holds that road. You know, we've had people like Eddie Redmayne in that role and Eddie Redmayne is going to lead the Broadway version of the new cabaret. So he's going to open on Broadway. So, you know, a real star there. We've had Callum Howells from It's a Sin. We've had some big people in that seat. And Jason doesn't disappoint. You know, he's a real performer, understands the space and really delivers it. It's definitely a different production of cabaret. That is the truth. Well, I was going to ask you if you've seen it before. Yeah. And obviously the film with Liza really dictates quite a lot of how people perceive... Oh, it's my cat trying to break something. Sorry, she... I <laughs> said Liza Billy Minnelli Porter. and something <laughs> Billy happened. Billy Porter knocking on like, the door. <laughs> it's not Billy, but I said Liza Minnelli and like something happened. So maybe I've invoked her, weirdly, like the that. craft. <laughs> <laughs> diddly diddly diddly, two ladies. It's definitely not, have, doesn't have the bombast of, I think, what Cabaret has had in the past. You know, it's been running since the mid-60s. Um, so I think it is, you know, it is a film about, about the Nazis. It is a film about, you know that story on what happened to Berlin and, and what the Kit Kat Club represents. It's almost a metaphor for that. So it, it, it's it's more insular. It's certainly more intimate. And some of the numbers that you expect to be belted, I think is the best way <laughs> I can describe the cat it. <laughs> the cat is having got the whizzes, are less so. So it's far more intimate. It makes you lean in a little bit. Certainly the performances by 
um, <laughs> self-esteem is it makes you lean in. The cat is just going to be there, and I'm just going to ignore her. Okay? One mention Eliza, she goes crazy. I just said Liza Minnelli, and she's just gone nuts. <laughs> well, you would, like me. It's funny, isn't it? You talk you talk about the theme of the story. I mean, the story, you know, predominantly there's a lot of darkness there. So yeah. it's kind of weird, isn't it? Because I suppose theatre, that's what it's about. It's about drama. But of course, you've got the music as well. It is quite an uplifting show in many ways. I mean, obviously, there's some great songs as part of that music. Amazing so. songs. Amazing songs. And I do think, just to close that point out, the revised cabaret is far raunchier, far more sexual than it has been in the past. But I think, you know, there's been a lot of productions over the years that have allowed that to happen. So it yeah. is far more sexualized. And I think that's great. You know, I think it, it's racy. It's it's very real. It's very risque, but not necessarily through a kind of plummy or hammy version that may have happened in the past. So I think that's great. And, you know, it's based on, um, what's the book called? Goodbye to Berlin by Chris Fisherwood, loosely. And so, yeah, I found, I found it interesting. And... Yeah, I loved it, but some of the performances wobble for me, but I think that might have been on the night and also me. And so, yeah, I thought Self Esteem was fab. And I think she's fab, and I've seen her live in concert, and I think she's an absolute star. Yeah, she's amazing. It, could this it, be. Yeah, go on. Could the wobbling be due to the fact that they've obviously changed the cast and the, it's new people taking on may, possibly the first role that they've done in theatre? I mean, I don't know about Self Esteem. I think that's a really good point. I think that's a really so, good point. So because... they might be settling into it. Maybe. Yeah, and that we had this discussion in the pub, which was both Jake and Rebecca are stars and they perform to big spaces, but they're not necessarily theatre trained. And so that is a, is an art in itself and there's no yeah. criticism, but it's an art in itself. And often when people came on stage who you could see had gone through very strict musical training, they had a way about how they carried themselves on the stage and how they projected. That's not a criticism. I'm just saying it's it's clear. It's in plain sight. And I think some of that for me, as I say, I love I love Rebecca. I love self esteem. Some of that I could feel in that role of Sally Bowles. And again, it's obviously a different production of Cabaret. But um, yeah, that that left me pondering something slightly different as I came out of the theatre. I think her relationship with Clifford Bradshaw, who is kind of Christopher Isherwood-esque, didn't entirely buy. But again, all the performances were stellar and, and, the, and I'm nitpicking because I had a great time. But yeah, I think often in musical theatre, it's a bit like Madonna fans, you know, you can't really say anything because you basically just get t- torn down and I'm okay with that. The, they're all going to at know, you, Sean, again. <laughs> people oh were clearly at me. You know, I often people go, it was amazing. And I go, well, it was amazing, but these are my comments. And they go, oh, they're fair comments. So, yeah, I thought Rebecca was fab, but probably settling into that role and also a very different format. I thought Nathan Ives Moba, who played Clifford, was good, but I couldn't, I didn't get the chemistry I wanted between it, between him and Sally Bowles. Now, his character, that character has also moved over time and is now, is he gay? Was he bisexual? Was he truly in love with Sally Bowles? So all that narrative has changed over time. And I think some of that plays through. All in all, go see it. It's an absolute spectacle. And it's fab that it's on the London West End, you know, with such fantastic performers. My comments are purely my own fueled probably by red wine white wine and you Billy know, Porter lack of sleep and Billy <laughs> Porter but there you go but go see it it's a fab fab production and it's a real spectacle our roving reporter treading the boards now Oh, she's not just happy with movie reviews she has to go to the west end of London for, for theatre I've just always been that girl Phil you know I've always <laughs> over- overreach have a view on most things if not everything they're not always true and I'm sure people will at me and that's fair fabulous thank you Sean as always and thank you everybody for watching don't forget to drop a comment down below if you've gone to see Cabaret do we get a final word from your cat Tipsy no she's sat on a box now she I haven't said the words I haven't said the mystical words Liza Minnelli Liza Minnelli she's in that cheap paper bag that you brought back Liza Minnelli has left the room she's no longer haunting this bedroom keep an eye out for our review of Billy Porter's Our Son coming soon yes with Luke Evans. Mm. Wink, wink. <laughs> wink. <laughs> <laughs>